Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video is going to be very special. Why am I on Twitter you guys might be wondering. It's because I have turned into sort of a journalist. You know, um, I have been you know getting information from other sources, reliable sources actually. And I've been telling people. And I get these sources from the bigger ones and I let other people know too. So yeah, today we'll be reporting on all of them. All of them. Uh, we'll be talking about Mbappe, Haaland, Kunde, Awa, and Kamavinga. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so the first one we've got is about Mbappe, 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 what? Mbappe, of course. And the first news that I've got from Deportes Cuatro is that Paris Saint-Germain believe that Mbappe will be will not be able to handle or take the pressure and end up renewing his contract um, and keep it for one more season. Um, and yeah, you know, I feel like he is, you know, kind of, at, he wants to leave at this point. And let, let, let's understand the situation better. Mbappe, he doesn't want to sign a new contract. He wants to leave. Real Madrid, we are willing to offer them maybe 150 million euros. But PSG, they do not want to sell at all. They don't want to sell. So what this do is, it creates some sort of, I don't know, a, a triangle, you know. One club wants to buy, the player wants to leave, but the, but the club that he's currently playing for doesn't want to sell. Um, and, you know, PSG, they've, they've done so many dirty things to keep their players. It's, I, I'm pretty sure they forced Rabio to stay or something. Um, or, they, or they banned him from playing for trying to leave or something. I don't know. Then we move on here. Mbappe is, of course, we all know, refusing to accept the offer. Why? He doesn't believe in the the, the club's project, so called project, to win the Champions League from Lequipe. Uh, of course, a very reliable French, you know, football uh, kind of stuff. Not, not French football, French news. There's all sorts in that, right? And that's the understanding we have got so far, right? Um. So that's that with Mbappe. Let's let me have a look at what else we've got. Marca stated Marca yeah said that Mbappe will sign for Real Madrid. And if you go to my quote tweet here, Diario AS, another you know, like Spanish news sort of stuff, also reports the same. Um somewhere. Um you guys can go and see. But both of them stated that Mbappe will sign for Real Madrid, which is what they report. Um, of course, nothing is true um, there, and I, I'm pretty sure I didn't start that far off. Where 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 was Mbappe? Yeah, I've talked I've talked to you guys about this. Mbappe does not want to renew his Tobiachi, and he hopes Real Madrid will take the final steps. Final step as in you know get him, you know buy him or make the offer from Deportes Cuatro again. Um, I just want to let you guys know that these these are very very reliable sources. They are not like random, such a random person. Um, uh, kind of random person tweeting these out. I find the sources and some or some other Real Madrid, you know, like Infinite Madrid or Madrid Extra, they tweet this stuff out. I don't tweet the same, um, because some of their sources I don't see or I don't find. So just in case I tweet the wrong thing, I don't. But if I find the extra source, I tweet them out. The environment of Mbappe aspires that Real Madrid do a final sprint, which is. You know, try their hardest to push for Mbappe from Diallo AS. Again, very reliable source. Um, and Mbappe is expected to go to preseason in 10 days time. That was tweeted about 3 days ago. So in a week's time, he's probably going to go back to preseason. He trusts that Real Madrid will pressure PSG. When he returns, it is expected that PSG will push for him to renew and giving him as much, as much money as Neymar. Right? And that money is, I don't know how much it is, but it is something that Real Madrid can't match. Um, um, so, yeah, you know. And Ligan is on the verge of bankruptcy. They're targeting, they're targeting PSG directly. Um, Real Madrid attentive for Mbappe. So, they're targeting PSG, maybe. Maybe PSG were forced to sell someone. They are forced to sell Mbappe. Um, and I'm 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 a is, is that it? Um, uh, let me have a look. I I tweeted this out like since for for the past five six days, 
I have been putting these out, right? So there's a whole bunch. Also, if you guys, um, please come and follow me. You know, to yeah, that that's that. Um, we start. I started here. You know, I started here. This is like the first one. So that's that with Mbappe. Erling Haaland. I actually didn't do anything. I'm pretty sure about Erling Haaland. Um, but let's talk about the Haaland situation. Let's go all the way up here. Um, here, Haaland for eighty million. And you guys might be like, what about Chelsea? What about Manchester City? What about this club? Why, why, why do you think that we will get Mbappe and Haaland both next summer? First, thing I want to know you guys know that next summer will be fire. By the way, um, Haaland. Um, why do we probably have a lot of chance of getting Haaland? Firstly, um, I just want to you guys know that Chelsea, of course, led the race in getting Haaland, even Manchester City. But Manchester City bid for Kane. You know, I I, th I personally think that Spurs are forced to sell Kane, and Kane will eventually go. Yeah, Nuno, Nuno Santos, he said Kane is a player of Spurs, but I feel like he will probably leave to Manchester City. Then look at Chelsea's scenario. They have, they know, actually, that getting Haaland is tough and complicated. Um, and apparently, they are going with Robert Lewandowski as the new target. And Dortmund want Haaland to stay, and Haaland is willing to stay. So if Haaland stays next summer, yeah, Haaland will go for about 75, 80, 85, 90 million, um, which is his release clause. And it's more affordable than this summer, which is, I believe, 150 to 180 million euros. So it's pretty, like, double, but, you know, it's twice. Well, well you know, paying twice if you want to get him this summer, which is more, even more than twice, to be fair, slightly more. Um, and Haaland, you know, like Fabrizio Romano has said it before, he has no agreement with any clubs. But of course, he wouldn't mind joining La Liga in Real Madrid. No way he is going to Barca or either of the Premier League teams. You know, Manchester City, Chelsea, he's fine because his dad used to play in the Premier League. He's also fine in joining La Liga in Real Madrid. Now let's talk about Julius Kunde and Kamavinga, right? I'm pretty sure I did tweet out on both Julius Kunde and Kamavinga. So, Jules Kunde. Jules Kunde's agent has confirmed that if he wants to join Real Madrid, he must wait until 2022. Um, yeah. So, that, um, because of, of course, um, he's re I think he's, um, he's going for a free next summer. So, Jules Kunde has said he wants to join Real Madrid. If he wants to join, he must wait. And we all know that Jules Kunde has spoken and talked to... Um, He's talked to, I believe, Mbappe and Benzema that he wants to join Real Madrid. Of course, that isn't like, oh, it's definitely confirmed that he said that, but very likely, right? Um, Kamavinga, about him, this is what he says. Real Madrid is Kamavinga's priority, right? He's willing to wait until next summer to join on a free. Very, very, very reliable, our Madrid star Real. Um, there as well, another Madrid sort of uh, news page, and I believe that's all I've got. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got. So let's talk about Awa then, because I never tweeted him out because he was never close to joining. And I'm not talking about Awa because he's joining, but in fact, Awa he's even closer to not join joining. Um, I've read a source. I I believe. I don't remember who tweeted it out, but um, I've got a bit of water there. Um, Awa was or wanted to join Real Madrid, but after Zinedine Zidane, you know, departed, he is not convinced to join, and he is uh, apparently like more edging to joining a Premier League club than um, Real Madrid. Um, apparently Arsenal, maybe Manchester United whatever um but yeah that's all i've got for you guys let me know what you guys think about the mbappe situation harlan situation and kunde kamavinga and even awa do you guys think we're gonna get them this summer do you think we're gonna get them next summer what do you guys think of it let me know in the comment section below hope you guys have enjoyed today's video hit the like button if you guys did subscribe to the channel because you're already and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace